Rocky by Peoria. I just want to let you all know we stand in solidarity with all of you and all the Scott Olsons out there. So now is the time to get loud! Up <laughs> next, we got Zach from Rocky by Blono. Alright! Yeah. So we're from movie to normal? Yeah. 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 We're here in solidarity, taking our state capital back. From Chicago? Yeah. And we got an occupier from movie to normal named Derek who'd love to play a song. I took the chords and melody line and then took the declaration and turned it into it basically. So here we go. They have foreclosed on our houses through illegal practices. They're giving taxpayer money to executives as corporate bonuses. They perpetuated inequality in the workplace based on age, color of skin, gender, and orientation. Actively hiding practices. You refuse negotiations for better working conditions. While the leaders of tomorrow are held hostage by their loans, all the debt students get, they all own. They outsource labor as leverage to cut worker health care and pay. Trick courts to treating people and corporations the same way. While the legal teams are paid millions of dollars to help roast health insurance for the ones who need it most. They have sold our privacy as a commodity to those who oppress. These are military and police force for freedom of the press. And despite the catastrophic failures that policies produce, they continue to fight in the news. The future of the human race requires all our hands. We occupy this public space. this eviction notice that we wrote here. The eviction notice stating some of our grievance, grievances against the lobbyists and the legislators that occupy this building here. I'm going to invite Benny up here. He's going to read this eviction notice for us. And then we're going to march through the streets of downtown Springfield with the eviction notice to let everybody in Springfield know about it. And then we're going to bring it back here and we're going to put it up on the front door of this building and let them know we've had it. We've had enough. <laughs> So before I give the mic to Benny, I want just real quick a couple things. Be considerate of your neighbors. We're here as a group. Keep everybody safe. As the march takes place, be respectful for others along the sidewalk, and also try to follow the traffic walks. There's going to be um, various peacekeepers that we've designated throughout the group. We're going to be there to help marshal the walk along so that it's done in an orderly fashion and we don't um, infringe upon other people's rights to use the public space. We're going to walk down to the federal building, which is on 6th and Capitol. Stop there for a moment, let everybody catch up. From there, we're going to go to Chase Bank, 
Again, stop there, let everybody catch up. The evil Chase Bank. The evil Chase Bank. <laughs> and then from there, we're going to cross, go turn left on Washington, and then turn left on 5th Street, stop real quick in front of U.S. Bank, and then head back here to Capitol, come down Capitol, and then we're going to go straight from here up to the steps of the Capitol to deliver the eviction notice. So we want all of you to stick with us for the march and stick with us for the ceremonial uh, serving of the eviction notice. So without, um, also, if you see trash along the way, pick it up. Let's keep this place clean, be respectful, be peaceful. Here's Benny to read the eviction notice. Who are we? The 99%. Nice. What's up, guys? It's good to be here today. It's good to see you all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and read this notice of eviction, and uh, I hope you pay close attention to it, because that's why we're out here today. Uh, last week, ABC News said we declared war on the government. I think they missed that a couple of weeks. So I don't know. So here we are today. All right. Notice of eviction. The lobbyists for the 1% and their cohabitating servants in elected office are hereby notified that you're occupied occupation of the Illinois State Capitol building is terminated. You are ordered to vacate for violation of your lease agreement with the people of Illinois. We, the 99%, demand that you return state government to the people due to your violations of the public trust. Yes. Yes. You've created barriers to direct democracy, concentrating power in the hands of the few legislative leaders and special interest lobbyists who block most bills which serve the people from coming to a vote before a full legislature. <laughs> you, you have maintained an unfair tax structure that does not require the super wealthy to pay the super wealthy 1% to pay their fair share. You've erected barriers to our right to receive an education by allowing the cost of tuition at state universities to skyrocket while also cutting financial opportunities. You've given millions of our tax dollars to fossil fuel interests that poison our air and water. You've betrayed the trust of public service employed by the state by ignoring their right to collective bargaining and failing to pay their share of their pensions. You've enacted budget cuts which harm the most vulnerable among us rather than asking sacrifices for a wealthy, from a wealthy few. You've blocked legislation that would require banks to know the name, age, and disability status of those being evicted, showing you have no regard for the fate of those you make homeless. For these and other breaches of the public good, you're hereby ordered on this day, October 29th, 2011, National Occupy Your State Capitol Day, to return the Capitol building to its rightful owners, the people of Illinois. Sincerely, Occupy Springfield. So we're going to march here now. Has everybody got their marching shoes on? Who are we? After we've marched and delivered the eviction notice, please join us back here for an open mic. And if you wanna, if you wanna say something, you got something on your chest, you wanna get off, come up here. I'm gonna be taking taking a list of people. You know, be conscientious of others, say a few things, and pass it on to the next. But we welcome you all to join us for an open mic after the march. So we got the the lead of the march in place down there. Are we ready to go? This is our house. This is our house.